You're still watching Arise News. We are live now in Washington, D.C., listening to President Joe Biden discuss the prisoner swap that has been uh, executed for Brittany Griner. She has been released from Russian authorities in exchange for Victor Bout. Let's listen in. And, and one extra day, if we can bring that person home. My administration has now brought home dozens of Americans who were wrongfully detained or held hostage abroad, many of whom had been held since before I took office. And today, we also remember the other Americans that are being held hostage and wrongfully detained in Russia or anywhere else in the world. Reuniting these Americans with their loved ones remains a priority, a priority for my administration, every person in my administration involved in this. We're going to continue to work to bring home every American who continues to endure such an injustice. We also want to prevent any more American families from suffering this pain and separation. And I strongly urge, I strongly urge all Americans to take precautions, including reviewing the State Department's travel advisories before they travel overseas, which now includes warnings about the risk of being wrongfully detained by a foreign government. Make no mistake about it, this work is not easy. Negotiations are always difficult. There are never any guarantees. But it's my job as President of the United States to make the hard calls and protect American citizens everywhere in the world, anywhere in the world. And I'm proud that today we have made one more family whole again. So welcome home, Brittany. And now I'd like to uh, uh, invite Sherelle to say a few words to you all. Of course, she's not excited at all about this. Sherelle, it's all yours, kiddo. Congratulations Thank again. You. Thank you. So over the last nine months, you all have been um, so privy to one of the darkest moments of my life. And so today I'm just standing here um, overwhelmed with emotions. But the most important emotion that I have right now is just sincere gratitude um, for President Biden and his entire administration. Um, he just mentioned this work is not easy and it has not been. There's been so many hands involved. And so I'd like to take a moment to just specifically mention a few. Uh, Vice President Harris, Secretary Blinken, Jake Sullivan, Joss Geltzer from the National Security Council, Roger Hartson and Fletcher Schoen from the Hostage Envoys Office. Um, a special thank you to Governor Richardson and Mickey, um, the Mercury Players, the WMB, PA for your advocacy. And also, um, you guys may not know this, but um, my family has been tremendously supported by the Washington um, Agency, BG's agent, um, Lindsay Colas. It's just been amazing for me and my family throughout this process. So um, today my family is whole, but as you all are aware, there's so many other families who are not whole. And so BG's not here to say this, but I will gladly speak on her behalf and say that BG and I will remain committed to the work of getting every American home, including Paul, whose family is in our hearts today as we celebrate BG being home. We do understand that there are still people out here who are enduring what I endured the last nine months of missing tremendously their loved ones. So thank you everybody for your support. Um, and today is just a happy day for me and my family. So um, I'm going to smile right now. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Mr. Mr. President, what has Russia gotten in return, Mr. President? What has Russia gotten in return for this prisoner swap? When will Brittany be back in the U.S.? What has Russia gotten in return, Mr. President, for this prisoner swap? 24 hours. What do you say to the Whalen family who says this is a catastrophe for Paul, Mr. President? We're speaking to that. How soon will he be home? 